Hello everyone and welcome to another From Couch to Rally. I'm doing the electrics and I'm not gonna do the bike video today because I have so much things to do but I have one thing which I managed to do and uh, that is the high beam override and you may think oh well that's not much but it actually is a lot and the reason for that is that this headlight is actually operated from CAN bus and switching the high beam and low beam is not that easy as you may think. So what I had to do is to invent my little tiny microcontroller. And as, again, as you can see, it's actually switching the headlight. Um, there are more things on that, and I will definitely talk more about that uh, solution uh, later on. Um, it's non-invasive, so if this is a very crude prototype, of course, but um, actually it can be done quite nicely. Um, and this is a uh, bypass from the headlight, so no cutting of the wires on the headlight. Or anything so that is pretty cool so that that was really really something which I really wanted because now my um, auxiliary light which are floodlights go on a full power so that's one thing another thing is that the mounts are already there so there's a ready rate and LSADV so the cockpit is kind of getting along quite nicely what I have also done is reroute all the auxiliary power uh, from um, the bike, which is, has been mounted and plugged directly into the wiring of the bike, into my own harness. And I have a small, tiny relay over there, and it's powered through the battery. So no power issues on a rally. Uh, it should hold up to almost 20 amps. So. Um, the microcontroller is powered off that, the USB stuff and the charger for um, charger in the cockpit. That's all going to be powered from the relay. So what's left? Well, actually quite a lot of stuff. I still need to finish the rear brake. Um, I still need to uh, finish the cockpit and all that. Uh, but yeah, mainly... Uh, Almost done, to be honest. Almost done. I'm, I'm super happy about that. Um, yeah. So uh, see you tomorrow, I guess. 